Hey everybody and welcome back. This is Matthew Boyle from languagecargames.com and we're exploring how the game Other Tongue works, as specifically Other Tongue 2. But what we're about to share applies equally to Other Tongue 1. In this video I want to talk about the different mechanics in this game and try to make it it's super clear what I mean when I say discard a card, turn down a card, turn up a card. What does that all mean? So the cards that are up are allowed to use their rules. They are ready to go. If you can do what the rule requests you to do, you can use it. And during your turn, you can use any or all of your up characters, your turned up characters' rules in any order that you want to achieve the best possible result for yourself, uh, to strengthen your position and to weaken your opponent's position. However, if one of your cards is turned down, for example, that means they've been deactivated. Their rule is turned off. You cannot use it. However, that is, you know, there is a potential for you to get this card turned back up and start using it. So it's really just kind of like the card is frozen for now. It's still worth its same number of points, every card is worth one point and could possibly accumulate more. It doesn't lose any points when this happens. It's merely frozen and you can't use its rule. Another thing that can happen is cards can add, uh, can gain and lose points. And you'll have to keep track of that either with, um, you can rip up small pieces of paper and just throw them on or keep track on a little notepad. But I've included two of these dice with the game and you can use them to keep track of how many points your cards are worth. Now in the standard play of this game, cards can't fall below zero points. But if you would like to play that variation, you could. You could allow points to go negative. At the end of the game, the highest, uh, the, pers the player with the highest points wins. And every field card, the, your field cards are the only things that are worth points for point tallying purposes at the end. Also, cards can be discarded. Let's say Hacker 2.0 got discarded. When that happens, they go over to the discard pile, which is next to your deck. For all intents and purposes, these cards in your discard pile cannot be used. And they are all worth zero points. However, there are some field cards with rules that will let you get these cards back into the game. Okay, so those are some of the different mechanics. Turned up, turned down, adding points, subtracting points, and discarding cards. All right, so if you have any questions about the basic rules or mechanics of this game, how things typically function, feel free to leave them down below, but I hope this makes things a little more clear for you. Cheers, guys, and thanks for watching.